So today I'm super excited to share my absolute favorite secret combo deck I've been playing with on the ladder. It literally wins out of nowhere with a unique effect that no one seems to play around. Hey everyone, Hex here, and I've won with a giant goose, some unblockable otters, but today we are flinging massive rabbits straight at our opponents. You don't want to miss this one. I'm still super hyped for this new set, so if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below to not miss out on future videos, and feel free to let me know if you have any synergies or combos that you want to see. As always, I really appreciate all your support for this channel. But onto this deck, and it's a double combo special today, so let's start with the main one I have, and it's using Regal Bunnycorn and Voldaren Thrillseeker. Now, this tiny rabbit is a two drop star star creature whose power and toughness are equal to the number of non land permanents you control. So, on its own, it's likely just a 1 1, not doing much, sitting there quietly, but our whole deck is crammed with ways to boost its stats, some at instant speed. Whether it's by blowing out your opponent's attacks or their blocks, or even using the unique ability of Voldar and Thrillseeker, our opponents might not realise before it's too late what is actually going on. So we've all seen Thrillseekers played with Yargul, but today we're going to be targeting our rabbit with the backup two. So the rabbit's going to get pay one, sacrifice the creature, and it does X damage to any target where X is its power. So this tiny rabbit suddenly becomes a giant lethal threat, able to win without attacking. If you have already attacked, chances are you can just flat out kill your opponent right here, and winning this way is just so sweet. So to boost our rabbit, we've got many options. Firstly, Voldaren Epicure. Playing this on turn 1 means a 3-3 turn 2 rabbit, so it's great here in our 1-drop slot. We've got Resolute Reinforcements that, for instant speed, can create two one ones that will obviously boost the rabbit by 2 at instant speed. I do love playing this if your opponent targets the rabbit though with a cut down or a play with fire. We have Wedding Announcements, which are just great in this deck. Uh, you will see from my first game how amazing this can work with a rabbit and thrill seeker. If you can time the fling just just after the announcement triggers its third phase, but before your turn passes. It's one of my favourite games I've played with. You'll just have to watch it to see how effective it can be. Other token payoffs in this deck include Virtue of Loyalty. It's a new card that has the adventure Arden Vale Fealty, which is a two cost instant that creates a 2 2 knight token, again, potentially boosting your rabbit at instant speed. And for five, you can cast it as an enchantment that says at the beginning of your end step, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Untap those creatures. So this is definitely a great plan B. If we're down to winning, with just tokens smashing each turn. I've also got another enchantment in Rabble Rousing. I'm always so impressed with this card every time I play it. It enters with Hideaway 5, so you get to look at the top 5 cards of your library, pop one in exile under the Rabble Rousing. It then basically doubles your attacking creatures, and when you have 10 or more creatures, you get to cast that card for free. There are some sweet synergies in this deck, but if you're attacking with a giant rabbit, the opponent blocks it with maybe a 1 1. Uh, surprising them with instant speed trample from under here, or a thrill seeker, is another way to normally immediately win this turn. I can't play Rabble Rousing without Devilish Valet. I've made videos about this card before, but this is the second combo in the deck. Devilish Valet can quickly get enormous as its power doubles each time a creature ETBs on your side of the board. It has Trample, it has Haste, uh, pair it with Thrill Seeker, and I think you can see how amazing this can be here. As this is a token deck, we've got Adeline and Mondrak, both amazing cards, both so strong in their own, both perfect here. I'm also playing Return Triumphant. It's another new card that returns a target creature of mana value three or less to the battlefield from your grave with a young hero role attached to it. 99% of our creatures can be bought back here and the young hero role is great attaching to your rabbit too. Bringing back the resolute reinforcements nets you three non-land permanents as well. Speaking of auras attaching to the rabbit, we have Monstrous Rage. It's an instant that gives plus two plus so until end of turn and a monster roll. Uh, this can get your rabbit through as the aura gives trample and effectively gives your rabbit plus four plus two. Lastly, Torch the Tower. We have so many tokens to bargain with. This card just seems great here. It's a two cost instant that does two damage to target creature or planeswalker, but if you cast it with bargain, it does three damage and you get to scry. We've got 24 lands and that's the deck. I can't explain enough how much fun this is to play. I love decks that have a plan your opponents may not see come in, but can easily win with a plan B or a plan C. So I urge you all to give it a go if you think you might like flinging massive bunny corns around, avoiding all the downsides of actually attacking your opponent the old-fashioned way. Let me know what cards you think I might want to try as we explore Wells of Eldraine. You can do that in the comments below, find me over on Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching, and let's see how I got on today on the ladder. Alright, on the play, 
And yeah, this is what I like to see. Turn one Epicure, turn two Bunnycorn as a 3 3. Then we've got Adeline as a follow up as well, so looks pretty nice here for us. So we'll drop our Epicure, opponent goes down to 19. And it is Cheeky House Mouse. This is a 2 1. The House Mouse is a card I've been experimenting with in my um, mono white deck. Um, opponent with Thalia. Okay, so that's going to slow us down a little bit with the uh, rousing and the virtue of loyalty, but I think we'll play Adeline now anyway. Uh, that boosts our bunny, which I don't want to die, but it's not going to because the 1-1 one, one that Adeline creates will make our bunny a 5-5. Five, five. And no matter how the opponent blocks, our bunny will not die this turn. So they throw their mouse in front of our bunny and take a 1-1 a one, one to the face. Would love a way to get rid of this Thalia, so hopefully find our torch. Opponent with were Werefox uh, Bodyguard. Playing it on their turn, probably so they can attack. And they do. Okay. So Torch the Tower would be great now just to find the, um, well, to kill this bodyguard to bring back our Adeline, but let's just drop Wedding Announcement. Again, boosts our bunny. Now a 5-5. Highly doubt the opponent's gonna block here. If they do, we get our Adeline back. Yep, they go down to 13. So I'm hoping that the opponent here is not a, it's not going to just board white, but hopefully they are a mono white aggro deck that's been slightly curtailed by our aggro start, because I would hate to see a, uh, a board wipe over the next couple of turns. Clearly it's the nemesis of our deck. We can rebuild quite quickly, but farewell is, um, is a bit of a problem card. So one of the things we've got to be careful about is the bunny having damage on it and the opponents um, killing some of our lower toughness creatures to um, reduce our stats on our bunny. That is something you've got to be careful with with this card. Like cracking the um, blood token we've got now, it is being used basically to boost our bunny. But opponent with another cheeky house mouse. In fact, they use the adventure side squeak by to make the Thalia a 3 2. They go to attacks and uh, yeah, not going to block this. So we drop down to 15. There is a Thrill Seeker. I think the best action we've got now is we can attack with the bunny because we can play the Virtue of Loyalty. Um, we can create basically a 2-2 two -two instant speed. So if they were to triple block here, they would lose all their creatures. Um, if they don't block, they could potentially go down to 6, depending on what we do. But with the Thrill Seeker, if they do take this damage. I guess we can just play the Thrill Seeker uh, post-combat and fling the bunny, which would have a, which would be a 9-9 at that point, straight out of our opponent's face for lethal. So they do block with their creature. Saving their house mouse. But yeah, our um, wedding announcement creates another 1-1, one -one, so our bunny's now a 7-7. Seven -seven. Extraction specialist is going to return that, I guess to the battlefield. There it is. The, so that was a recruitment officer. Back to the battlefield. Now, I think we have lethal. I think we should be able to make the bunny a 13-13 next turn. So we'll play this Virtue of Loyalty. And I really hope they don't have a removal spell in their hand. But Okay, so our bunny is now an 8-8. Okay, there's a Thrill Seeker. So we have Lethal here. Um, if you can spot it. The uh, Bunny Corn is going to suddenly become a 11-11 now. Okay, it is an 11-11 now and it does have the activated ability of um, the Thrill Seeker. So we can go to attacks. We're not going to attack. I'm going to put the game in full control so that it doesn't fly away from me. Okay, and uh, no attacks here. We need to keep all our permanents on the board and uh, make sure we're in full control as we end our turn. Wedding announcement triggers, we create a 1-1. One -one. 
Uh, it becomes a 13-13 when the wedding announcement turns to the festivity and we can just fling it straight at our opponent. Excellent. That's what we're here to do. All right, on the play here. Uh, pretty nice hand. Uh, I mean, very tokeny. So we'll keep this. We even get to play our turn one tap land. The Bivouac. Put it with Rugged Highlands and uh, says go. So this is ideal for us. We can just uh, play our reinforcements at the end of their end step. And they have a Rabbit Battery. And the Epicure. I wonder if they attack with the Rabbit Battery here. Obviously he has haste. Uh, I will block. So you want to block with the uh, actual creature, as we have ways to bring creatures back from the graveyard. We find another reinforcements. All right, not a problem. I have a feeling I know what deck the opponent is playing, but we'll uh, just see what they do now. But yeah, that was an ideal time for us to play our wedding announcement. Get that moving. Okay, another Epicure. We go down to 18. And uh, they sacrifice their blood token. Maybe looking for a one drop or a way to uh, deal with some of our creatures. It's Gleefill Demolition on their blood token though. So they suddenly have five 1-1s. One I'm pretty certain they are an Imperiosaur deck. Uh, not going to be too much I can do if they uh, manage to cast that. But uh, what we can do in the meantime is just continue building up our board, and we'll do that with both our resolute reinforcements. The uh, invigorating hot spring here for our opponent. Uh, they're going to start putting counters on their creatures. But yeah, we'll just make a couple more one ones, and I mean, the end of your our next turn here, the wedding announcement is going to make these all two twos. Another land, okay. So we'll drop Adeline. And uh, I don't really want to attack. Well, we might think about attacking now. Opponent gives us the nice. So even if they were to cast their Imperiosaur, uh, I don't think we're dying. And the opponent has to be very careful they don't die on the crack bag. But it's Rebel Salvo for our opponent. And Reinforcements here makes a couple more 1-1s. One -one so I'm not entirely sure if that is their deck, but I've played that deck before. And these are the kind of cards I would play in it. But we did kill their haste creature um, at the beginning, which is what kind of gave it away for me. But we're kind of flooding here. This is a really weird board. Tokens on tokens. Um, and they're not attacking us. I think we're just going to wait. I mean, we are the combo deck. <laughs> that is our fourth reinforcements there. Uh, we do have our wrestlers bivouac in our... Um, land there, but we're under no immediate threat, so I'm just going to chill. Yeah, this is a really weird game. Another hot springs for our opponent. And they uh, put their counter on a couple more tokens they've got there. But they're not attacking, so I don't mind this. We'll play our reinforcements, so we have a whole bunch here. Ooh, there is a Voldaren Thrill Seeker. So whether we play that now, or we just hold it in case we can find a bunny, I think it might be best just to wait. And playing it now doesn't really do much. If opponent had a lower life total, or we had Adeline on the board, I think it would be better. But, um... Okay, there is a bunny. Excellent. All right, well, we'll play this bunny. It comes down as a 13-13 creature. And I think we are just going to Thrill Seeker here, targeting the bunny. It comes a 16-16. We'll smash him in the face with that. And then um, we'll go to attacks. We have 10 attackers. They have uh, 9 blockers, so they're going to lose their entire board. Um, and we're going to have some creatures left over for next turn, so... I think this is a kind of lethal attack. Yeah, they scoop it up. That was an amazing little win there. All right, on the play. And I mean, this is 
one of the most perfect hands. If we had the uh, Thrill Seeker, sorry, the uh, Voldoran Epicure as a turn one play, I think it would be better, but we get to play our Restless Bivouac turn one. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Opponent with a fortified beachhead uh, showing us their frontliner, so probably up against soldiers. So you've got to expect this uh, Bunny Corn is going to be okay for this turn. I guess Thalia is probably a card that is going to be pretty bad against us. But we'll just deal with that as and when. Opponent shows us uh, their reinforcements in their hand. And clearly not going to block this. And they uh, pass their turn. Well, they clearly have obviously have the reinforcements. So probably don't want to attack. We'll play Adeline though. Okay. They got it. Okay, it's Mate Disappear. All right. Well, I guess that stops them from playing their um, reinforcements, but we do have Return Triumphant for next turn. That is going to bring back Adeline. So, Mate Disappear wasn't too effective, I don't think, for them there. But they played Tukusia's Welcome. I did think about putting that card in this deck, but we didn't seem to have too much problem in... Um, getting cards in our hands, we have a lot of value. And yeah, bringing back Adeline there makes our Bonnie Corn a 3-3. Adeline makes it a 4-4. We'll throw down our Resolute Reinforcements. Let's make it a 6-6. Opponent goes down to 12. Let's see how they're going to get out of this. Monstrous Rage is going to give Trample. Yeah, I can't see the opponent winning this game at all. I think we can... Um... <laughs> Rebel Rousing. So between Adeline and the Bunny... I think Rabble Rousing could potentially just be lethal on its own. I think we'll just Rabble Rousing here. They can't kill our creatures, and then next turn we can Monstrous Rage whatever's still alive on the battlefield. Um, I don't think this matters, because we can attack our opponent here. Cast our Valet, which means next turn that's going to be a lethal attack. And the opponent just takes it all anyway. So that was a great example of how Rabble Rousing can win that game. Alright, on the draw here. I really like this hand. Opponent with a Wind Scarred Crag. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty good hand from us, especially as we drew the Torch to Tower as well. There's Adeline. Excellent. Well, we can just uh, reinforcements at instant speed or... Uh, shoot any main threats from our opponent. It is Ambitious Farmhand, okay. So maybe some kind of control deck. We will see. They are playing Boros though. And uh, we'll just drop our reinforcements here. Okay, there's a bunny right on cue. Well, I am slightly nervous about board wipes and uh, such forth by our opponent but we have some instant speed plays I think is best that we just uh, pass the turn and hold those open okay we will uh, see what they're up to so so many board wipes at the moment I just don't want to overcommit too much unless we can win the game on that turn and I think in our hand we have tools to do that with rabble rousing the bunny corn and monstrous rage looking for a thrill seeker with another farm hand. They are certainly finding their planes. I'm actually going to cast Torch the Tower here and I'm actually going to bargain it with our token just so I can scry away anything we don't want. Next card is another Resolute Reinforcement. I mean, normally that's a good card, but I think at the moment I want to get land drops to try and find a way to get to Rebel Rails in before um, the opponent gets to the mana where they may be able to cast maybe a Farewell or something. But we did draw our uh, fourth land there, and I want to maximize the amount of creatures on the board so that Rabble Rousing next turn might be able to immediately trigger. So let's go for Adeline here. Let's go to attacks. It creates a 1 1. Hopefully, they don't block, which they do. Anyway, opponent goes down to uh, 19, but we have four creatures on the board. And it is Sunset Reverie for our opponent. So you're going to create a couple of 1-1s one and gain some life. Yeah, just want to land next turn and then we're going to start smashing with the Rabble Rousing. Okay, opponent with another Sunset Reverie. Hmm. 
Okay, there is a land. They have four one ones, so if I attack with everything, I think that's going to be not the greatest idea. But I think what we can do is attack with Adelin only. And uh, if opponent wants to quad block this, we have Monstrous Rage, and that's going to be the biggest blowout I've seen. But yeah, they're definitely going for the uh, the big block here. We'll play Monstrous Rage here, targeting our Adelin. Comes an 8-5. Takes out their whole board, drops them down to 18, and we've now just got to swerve a board wipe. We'll cast our bunny corn. One turn, one turn, that's all we need. Just play a couple of 1 1s. Intrepid Adversary, that's what we want to see. Hopefully, they put mana into this. Excellent, because this is going to mean that rabble rousing here. Hideaway 5, it doesn't really matter what we take, because we're going to smash them for lethal. No matter how they block, more than enough damage going through with the uh, Bunny Con and the Adeline and uh, yeah, great win there with Rabble Rousing and the Bunny. Alright, on the draw, uh, we do have a Torch to Tower here, so this looks like a Keeper. We can deal with any early threats and uh, if we need to bargain this, we can use the Virtue of Loyalty to do that. So... Let's see what we're up against. An opponent with a Selesnia land and secluded courtyard and they named humans. So looks like we're up against a human deck. Can't torch Malira, unfortunately. I think in that case, we'll be as mana efficient as possible. We'll play our bunny and then next turn we can maybe virtue of loyalty and torch the tower. Um, opponent with Adeline. And uh, they go to attack. So we're going to have to take that, unfortunately. Four damage. And we find our Epicure. Okay, well, I kind of want to get Epicure down because that will um, make our Bunny Corn a 3 3. It will allow us also to torch the tower if we absolutely need to. Um, or we could play the Virtual Velocity to make a 2 2. But then our Bunny is just a 2 2. So decisions to be made here. We'd also love to get this valet down just before we um, play Rabble Rousing. I wish the opponent wasn't so aggressive because uh, that could be the little combo that we could uh, get going here, but got to make sure we don't die in the meantime. So we will, I guess we just sit back. We could attack with the bunny, but I think it might be better on defense. Maybe we can just block Malira instead of... Um, Hitting it with the torch to the tower. Opponent with Intrepid Adversary. Okay, well, that is an annoying card for us to see. But I guess we'll let that resolve. And then we'll just shoot that. And we don't need to bargain anything to do that with. So I'm going to do it pre-combat. Maybe it means that they don't attack us. We'll see. Also, this could mean that they sacrifice their Malira now. Their team drops because the adversary is now off the battlefield and they get in there with Adeline and Malira. Okay, so we have a double block here on Adeline if we want, but they would just sacrifice their Malira. I think we'll just take seven. Really need a land drop though. Land drop so we can double spell. The two um, virtual loyalties would be nice. Okay, Monstrous Rage. At least we can still double spell here with the um, Virtue of Loyalties 2-2 and the Monstrous Rage. Okay, we might be able to um, kill this Adeline with the Bunny Corn here by attaching our Monstrous Rage, making a 2-2. Opponent with uh, Copper Coat Vanguard. Ooh, and there's Thalia. Okay, well, we're going to have to play out our spells here. So Arden Vale Fealty. Create a 2 2 white knight with vigilance. White knight with vigilance. We'll play our monstrous rage. It's going to target our biggest creature, the bunny. It is now an 8 6 until end of turn. Unfortunately, we die to Adeline. So, yeah, this game is kind of getting away from us slightly because we have been slightly missing land drops. Well, we've missed a couple of land drops and we haven't just been able to get going. 
But imagine us having the rabble rousing and the valet. Yeah, that would have been nice. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to win if we lose our bunny. So we'll block as we can. We'll go down to five here. And there is an Iganjo. So I'm trying to see if there's any way we can win this game next turn. Playing the Valet. We can block Adeline. We'll see how they want to attack. Hopefully they... Oh, they, they attack with everything. I was hoping that maybe they weren't going to do that. So we'll block as we can, but I think we're dead here. I don't think there was much we could have done in this particular game. Yeah, we were just a little bit behind the uh, the very aggressive start here from our opponents. Um, Naya, human deck it seems. 